Well, ladies and gentlemen, Scott Perry Johnson, author of The Abandoned Poet, coming at you. Now, my unofficial foster father insisted that I wear my hoodie because it's cold. He's not all that bad, is he? He's looking out for me. Well, he loves potatoes just as much as... Well, I never used to like potatoes that much, but he really uh, made me love potatoes. And, well, today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, make potatoes. Um, and, well, cook potatoes. Boil them, cook them. Take your pick. But today we're going to be doing both. The method is to first boil the potatoes. But first, I could like to cut them into half. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. And if you get hungry, feel free to make more. <laughs> I'm basically in the position of life right now. Where I'm laughing at the world. I, I, did, I tried to do a lot of research about this uh, video. Uh, these videos, sorry, uh, on YouTube. And all they gave me was BS. I didn't get as far as I am today by taking other people's advice. I do my own thing. So here's what we're going to start with. First of all, you're going to need one of these. This will prevent you from being harmed. This one's actually technically a fashion accessory. But it does look the same as um, one of those chef's knives. What I do is I cut it in half. Now this glove will be, this stainless steel glove will be your protection. So first I start by cutting it in half, each of them. But I like to get a little creative and just toss it down like this. There we go. Now that's one. Now you want to chuck them in there for about 25 minutes, all of them. So I'm going to have to hurry and speed so they don't all, you know. So, let's start speeding. Now that we've got it in there, here are some handy tips. Okay, now it's cooking and I've got some tips for y'all. It's never too early to overseas. I watch these videos, I'm just like, what? You know, chuck in as much salt as you want. Um, I personally like them really salty. And a lot of butter too. We gotta do this very quickly, yo. Otherwise the flavor's just gonna run away. First, you start with the salt. Very generous with it. Be very generous with the salt. Okay. If you think it's too much, it's not. Keep on pouring. Keep on pouring. And, and unless you're on a diet uh, and it's, it's a health problem, then I understand. I'm not. But if you're not, keep on pouring. All right, next. We pepper it. Okay? Pepper adds everything to life. Spice to life, as I say. And right in we go. And that's a lot of pepper. Just how I like it. Okay, now we put in the butter. Don't be shy about the amount. Because it really does make or break your uh, roast potatoes. Okay. So take a huge open. One. Two. Two big scoops, that should do it. Every time. So, well, now we can just rest until the it goes off. We need to put it on for, you have to cook it for 25 minutes, these potatoes. But that only ripens up, up a little. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on for uh, 
20 minutes and then we're going to roast them in the oven. Uh, that's because it took me 5 minutes while I put them in there to explain some of this. So, Oh look, a spoon to wash. Watch it! Just gonna put this on top. It's cooking. What can I say? Hey! I found another hoodie! Awesome! Yo! <laughs> hey! Wow! We got hoodies you want and we got them! <laughs> I see you're in the interest in the most exceptional items. Spare a moment of your time. Hey Sparky. Do you not for your thoughts? I think I'm funny. Yeah. I feel another copyright like claim coming on. <laughs> well, the boiled potatoes are being boiled. And I'll show you how to have a nice and delicious boiled potato uh, dinner. I also got some leftovers here. There are people starving in, uh, in Africa. And, well, uh, I'm arranging someone from Nigeria to fly over. And, well, they would be more than happy to have this. And this isn't just a full meal. On this side, I'm going to be pulling the potatoes. This will be reheated, and those will be on there. And I was once a starving street kid. I was. Food is no laughing matter. And, as I said, when I accidentally waste food, I give to charity. I feel ashamed. When I accidentally waste food. That's why I give money to charity. I would if I didn't waste food, but I do feel ashamed anyway. I just want to hide. I like to think I would be the same person. With or without circumstances. But I barely eat and my eyes are bigger than my stomach when I go out shopping all the time. A lot of people have told me that. Now I gotta get on with my chores while this is happening. Just got a few clothes to hang and some dishes to wash. I'll do that while it's cooking in the oven. I should probably get that preheated shortly too. Just got some washing out of the washing machine. Now I gotta hang them up. I like doing my own chores. I like this shirt. It's really nice. It's well, black and grey is kind of my, my shades, you know? But, yeah. Let's hang this one up. I think I have the rest to hang out the socks and the underwear. <laughs> By the way, something haunting I have to reveal right now. Why I was getting the washing out of the machine. I found this sock that someone left behind. But... As people know, I'm affected by the paranormal. And I have been since I was a kid. I got used to it. But I recall throwing two pairs, a, a full pair of these socks out. I do. I did. I don't. Well, people may not believe in things like that, but I certainly do. And when I'm alone, sometimes I can see things that people cannot. Now, these are still boiling. So, remember, 25 minutes is the maximum you need to boil them for. I like to cut them in half. There we go! There's our 20 minutes up now. And a paranormal sock. Well, as you can see, they're now well and truly boiled. Still sizzling a little. But, that is not our last step. What we want to do is prepare the... Um, the tray. 
We want to put a... Uh... Oh, this is heavy. I'll think more clearly when I put it down. What we want to do is put the aluminum foil on the tray. Okay. Now, I know it looks cool, but in order to proceed, I have to remove my jewellery. Which means this fashionable glove is actually a fashionable accessory, but it does look like the ones you'd use in restaurants. And my rings, I gotta get this one repaired. Ooh, it's solid gold and it's pinching me. <laughs> not, not, not that price matters. It doesn't. It really doesn't. My mother just left me a lot of inheritance once upon a time. Ugh. I, I splurge a little. Yeah, I've been, I've been a homeless street kid, so I get it. Yeah, I get it. I truly get it. But in order to finish this video, <sighs> I need to get these off me, and they're not easy to get on, they're not easy to get off. Ugh. Wow, it's actually digging into my finger a little. The sooner I get this one fixed, the better. It even looks uncomfortable. Well, anyway, let's move on to the next step. First of all, issue out of the way. We're going to put my jewellery away and get on to um, how we're going to proceed with the next step of uh, our... Um, oh, potatoes. And I choose to keep the skin on. It actually has a lot of, a lot of, uh, nutrition in it. But it's up to you if you want to take the skin off. Each to their own. And all taste buds are different. I'm going to go put my jewelry away so I can continue and show you how to prepare for this next step. Which means I have to turn the oven on too. Well, not have to. I'm actually going to enjoy to. Hmm. Maybe my foster father is right. Maybe I should let my hair grow out a little. You know, it's actually wavy when it grows out at the back. Like surfy. Haven't seen that for years. Coming at you. Step. And always make sure your hands are sterilized. I'm going to show you uh, how to... Uh, Prepare your uh, aluminum foil tray with butter. Now, I live alone right now, so it doesn't really matter if I dip my own hands into the butter. If I have guests, I'll reassure them that my hands were sanitized and all in the long run. <laughs> so, here's how I do it. Now, you just take a scoop of butter, and tea towels are always preferable for making the hand cleanup process easier. Now let's get started. Huh? Well, it's pretty simple. You don't need to be a genius to do this. You just rub it everywhere. Just keep on rubbing. Just keep on rubbing. Just keep on rubbing. Now we need another scoop. Again, my hands are sanitized. Here's another scoop. Just keep on rubbing. Just keep... They're also freshly clipped as well. And filed. As well as my toenails. <laughs> Ugh, well, I'm getting tired of these costume changes. I say that in a lot of my videos. But, today we're going to just be informing you. How to do potatoes well. I prefer them cut in half. You might prefer them other ways. There's really no way to judge. We all have different interests and different tastes. <laughs> just just ask me when I was at... Well, I can't even go that far. <laughs> uh, let's just say that's A-rated. I won't go there. But we're focusing on potatoes today. Not, not, not my personal one. <laughs> <laughs> but it was an interesting thought for a second. <laughs> hey! Yo, I, sh I yeah. My mind goes into some pretty dark places sometimes. In the best way possible. No. Oh. 
I promise. I promise. <laughs> I'm not fooling anyone, am I? Good thing I didn't get my butter or my teddy bear. That she my prized possession. Last gift my mother gave me before she died. But let's get you have sad things out of the way. Let's get to how to clean up butter on your fingers as well. Later on, we're moving on to gravy. Gravy. I didn't want to. I didn't want to flush it. I don't want another copyright claim. Anyway. <laughs> All right. These paper towels are actually pretty cool when it comes to cleaning up butter. And I like to have the hands-on approach. A lot of people um, like to be so, I don't know, royal about it. But hey, you, you clip your nails, you sterilize your hands, uh, your toenails too, in case you want to start stomping berries and things like that. But yeah, uh, people have been using their hands since the primal days, since the caveman days. Now this will make it very easy for you uh, to clean yourself up. Butter really does stick to you. And then all you need to do after, after you've finished, after you're done, after you've scrubbed your hand off with a paper towel, paper towels do work. Just wash your hands, it ain't rocket science. Oh, clean and fresh and drying off my hands. Now, I have a few techniques to share with you, even one that I came up with on this video. Um, I'm going to show you how to put more flavor into your uh, potatoes. Like I said, I prefer to cut them in half. <laughs> and, well, well, Okay, I, I just got in one of those situations my head went um, frozen. Let's not let that hold me back. Alright, well I'm going to show you what we're going to do with these potatoes today. Now i got to be honest, I'm freezing up a little. Uh, don't worry, that's quite natural. That usually happens when you know that the entire globe is looking at you. Well, anyway... Uh, what you want to do, and I've invented this technique right now. Now, here's what you want to do. First, when it's buttered on the tray, you want to sprinkle as much salt as you can. You don't necessarily need the pepper, but I do like to use pepper. Okay. We got, we, 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 we got pepper, we got pepper. We got pepper! The mission is solved. Oh, I love dropping things. <laughs> Hand sanitizer? Mm. Well, actually, I think it's a money making scheme. <laughs> it is, it is. <laughs> I won't go into that. I focus on potatoes right now. This is the part where you need your tongs. And we all have different palettes and different ways of doing things. All taste buds are different. So here's what I'm going to show you.
first of all, we need to grab them out. So let's do that. I've come up with an experiment here and I'm sure it's going to work. First, we open the pot. And we take it carefully. If around children, please supervise them. A hot liquid can cause a very emotional effect. Oh, that's a bit heavy. Well, anyway, let's get started on this. So first, we take it out like this. I've already salted and peppered the tray. And I feel pretty clever about that. I feel like I'm inventing something. Alright. So, I've got four. That means eight separate pieces of potato. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to season them to my liking. And I'm going to leave you to think about how you would like to season them to your liking. And I'm going to butter them first. But I can use the juices to actually do that. I'll show you in just a moment. My bad. I feel like I robbed you by not doing the other pieces out. So, okay. <laughs> Alright, so, oh, this one's a little falling apart. Well, that's okay, that's still okay. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we've got somebody that needs surgery in here. Come on, let's get the rest of you. Get the rest of you. Okay. <laughs> but, not bad odds. Not bad odds. Everything's perfect over here. So. It was like my cat when he scratches me in my hand. <laughs> Look at all this. All kittens do that. <laughs> Never give up on them. Love animals. Alright, yo. Here's where we're at. We've got this all waiting to be done. And here's how we're going to do it. We're going to, as you can see, the liquid here is yellow. I put a lot of butter into it. So instead, we're going to pour over them. Okay. So I'll be pouring it all over this and then flipping them over for the salts and the butter. And you'll have the ultimate flavour. So let's get started. Right. Alright, let's get done. Right. So what we want to do first. Alright, first we need to, uh, well, we're back to the butter again, and, well, I'm going to take a break from all my costume changes, but this will be quick and simple. Alright, we're just going to spread it. Alright, so what you want to do, is you want to take your knife, go uh, kitchen knife, Practically harmless, but anything can kill. Almost anything. I heard that in a soap opera once. It's true. But what we're going to do is we're going to take it and coat the white part of the potato in butter. Me, I choose to leave the skin on. It adds some nutrients, it's actually quite delicious, and we're gonna we're, we're gonna demonstrate that when it's in the oven. <laughs> hey look, I just dropped it. <laughs> I'll clean that up after. Alright. So 
No, you don't need to see me do all this. I just showed you once. I'll call you myself up and continue the rest. Alright. You're, you're going to need a ladle for this one. What you want to do is with the seasoned buttered water. So you want to ladle it and Well, not do that first of all. And pour on all of these. These potatoes. Like this. Now, I choose to keep the skin on. I do. It does provide nutrients and all things like that. That's fine. But here's what you want to do. Now, on this tray, I've seasoned it with salt and pepper and butter. So, and we have, we have one failed one and, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight other survivors, but it's still gonna taste as good. You're always going to mess up eventually. Yeah, eventually you're always gonna have one that doesn't make it. All good cooks know that. Well, here's what we're gonna do. Oh, I drip blood, butter on the floor. I'm actually feel like I'm skating. Hey. Let me get a rag down there. <laughs> this is fun. This is really fun. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Still skating on butter. This is fun. This should be a thing. <laughs> uh, I, I, I went to uh, something called Skate World when I was a kid. Um, they don't do that anymore, I don't think. But, yeah, I know how to handle myself. Well, now that we're skating through the butter. Hey, better butter, butter, hey, better butter, butter. <laughs> After the salt and pepper is done, what you want to do is flip them over like that. So the white is actually on it. We've got our failed one. <laughs> this is fun. We've got our failed one. And um, we've got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven successes. But the other one's going to taste just as good anyway. Can't you see it? That uh, just failed and falls apart. I don't think there's anything, um, I don't think failure actually exists. But all good cooks have to, like, adjust and all that. Now, <clears throat> while I'm slipping around, like on a skate world, <laughs> I might actually fall over right now. <gasps> all right. Stand still, stand still. Okay, okay. We're going to put this in the oven now. Now, the oven's at 160. <laughs> now, the oven is at 160. 180. And we're going to grill the F out of these. Now if you let me skate over to here. <laughs> oh, some of those shows really make fun of people, don't they? So let's get started on the gravy. You really want good gravy with mashed potatoes. Now some stereotypes are true while I'm slipping around in butter. This is fun. <laughs> this is really fun. Oh, I almost fell over. Ah. Okay. Firm feet. Firm feet. Alright, let's get started, okay? 
Now they're in the oven for 25 minutes and I'm working on the gravy. Well, now that's in the oven, the potatoes, and they're gonna come out really nice and crispy, I hope. Well, uh, next we do the uh, gravy. Now here's what you need to do. First, a generous amount in there. I like it extra thick, I already put some in. I'm hoping to get greedy. All right, now that we've got an extra generous amount in there, we need to focus on the other ingredients. You're gonna need a lot of salt. Did I even open this? No, I did. A lot of salt. But not too much, it's a pretty small bowl. Now you need some pepper. Okay. And don't forget, you have to constantly stir. You can get away with it for like 30 seconds, but you have to constantly stir if you should. And in my case, people know that I like spicy things. But one thing you need with these kinds of gravies is this. Right here. Sorry, I almost lost it for a moment. <laughs> Cracked pepper. And you gotta keep on stirring. You gotta keep on stirring. You do. Cracked pepper. About 7 to 12 twists is good. And I'll be pouring those over what's already cooked in the oven there. Anyway. Okay. Now that we've got that done. Okay. We've got that done. But again, ladies and gentlemen, everybody knows I'm a fan of spice, but constantly keep stirring. So we're going to put this in here next. We're going to put this over here. Alright. So it's up to you what you put into your... We're going to keep on stirring. It's up to you what you put into your uh, gravy. It's going to go great with a mashed potato. Not much, sorry. Um, uh, why are you so healthy? Uh, let's see. First boiled and now in the oven. Yeah, they're going to be great. I, I, I think I'm getting as stressed out as Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> okay. Alright, so if you do like spicy things, just chuck it in. Chuck it in. That's what I'm about to do. And I'm going to have a very good rest after this. Okay. I do love spicy. Uh, okay. Now, it really depends. Um, you have to add water next after. Uh, what I mean is, what I mean is, is just, uh, well, now it's time for the stage where I have to add more water and then stir some more. Cold water. Once done, you place back on. And you keep stirring, constantly stirring. Now I've got my gravy. I can smell it. It smells wonderful. But do you think I'm going to put a hot spoon in my mouth? 
Well, let's see if it cools down. Perfect. Top notch. Oh, it has a kick to it too. Yes. Hey, yo, whoa. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still uh, slipping around on the sputtery floor. <laughs> Keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring, keep circling, keep doing everything, yada yada yada. <laughs> Surprised I haven't burned myself yet. Alright, looks like this is done too. Mm. Yeah, look at that. Aren't we good? Aren't we good? We all work as a team in life, don't we? Here, better, 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 here, better, 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 here, better, 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 better. How was it born of a silver spoon in my mouth? I was, I was poor. I do apologize. I'm just reading my own work and feeling how far I came. <laughs> uh, uh, well, the biggest achievement in life for me is this. The smallest achievement in life for me is my family. Except my unofficial foster father and my two beautiful cat companions you've seen in other videos. I didn't want to be born in a family. Well, let's get on to the gravy. Now, gravy is always pretty crap. You have to jazz it up yourself. You do. Uh, you got to add your own incense and spices and things like that. And, well, basically everything you want. For example, what do I feel like putting into my, uh, my, uh, gravy right now, which I personally hand made after the manufacturer's hand made? Let's see. I like garlic. I do. So we're going to go ahead and toss some garlic into this. <laughs> Let's see. Garlic powder. Mm, give it a little stir. It's been there for a while. It happens. I have a technique I'll show you. Grab a chopstick. I'm great at using them. And just twirl it around, if some of your condiments do this. And I've done this before. And now here we go. I like garlic, so I'm going to add it and I'm going to stir it. <laughs> I do love garlic. I don't know why vampires don't. Go figure. Just stirring. Pretty much I'm just doing a waiting game right now. This has been a long video. Ooh, I've spent more talking to my foster father on uh, helplines. 39, 23 seconds. Oh well. I've been playing this video for a bit anyway. <laughs> I, 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 um, I, I'm, I'm gonna go do some chores, by the way. I don't mind doing the dishes. I find it therapeutic. Um, uh, stressful, but therapeutic in a way. 
Some people say that. Um, well, it's in the oven. I'm just doing my chores right now. I mean, just just because I'm just because I'm known doesn't mean that I shouldn't have to pull my own weight. And yeah, that's how everyone should be. I'm just trying to get my chores done. That's all. Well, let's put my oven mitts on, shall we? Alright. Finally, they're done and perfectly to my liking. Uh huh. I'm just going to use a tray. Who cares about a plate? But what we're going to do, because this tray will be cleaned again after, it's just like a plate. I'm just going to drizzle gravy all over this. M F. -er. <laughs> I'm just going to drizzle like hell. <laughs> I do love gravy. Isn't that the best? I don't even mind if I scold myself with it, because at least I can lick a delicious wing. But, I am on cloud nine, absolutely. What we're going to do this morning, and nobody better rule my morning, I am on cloud nine right now. All I have to do is, uh, uh, clean the mess up and enjoy my meal. That's all. I'm going to spend the rest of the day relaxing. So, let's pour my gravy on. Let's do it now. Let's do it. Come on. A little gravy there, a little gravy there, a little gravy there, there, there. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to take this. There you go. There it is. And pour into this bowl. Okay? And the other area. And I'm going to take this. Still looking for it. <laughs> and add it all together. Yeah. We're adding it all together. And what a con what a concoction, a combination that will be. And now We'll do the sensible thing and seal it. There we go. Now it's ready to be put in the fridge for future events. This is being Scott Perry Johnson, author of The Abandoned Poet. <laughs> Come and catch ya. <laughs> Still skating on butter. We all take care now. This has been a very long video, and I need to do my chores, and I need to sleep and watch TV and all, all things like that. All those good things. But I love you all, and... 
I, I just love everyone. Thanks, guys. You're radical. Talk to you later. Bye.